Hey guys and welcome to another customization tutorial. My name is Roberto George and I'll be guiding you through this customization process. And we are here with a project already opened, the After Effects template video memories. And as you can see at the moment we only have uh, video and photo placeholders. If we scroll through uh, the timeline and we are going to see how to replace all this and a few more uh, tweaks. So let's start with by opening the folder named um, placeholders. In here we will find all the elements that we are going to replace and if we scroll on the assets we will see that we have uh, a few assets used and inside the pre-comps uh, we will have a folder named others which is the, the tablet. Uh, used to make the, the 3D look and all the scenes and also um, the tablet sequence uh, in 2D and on the 3D. So this one here will be uh, for further customization and we will check on one of these scenes after we replace the placeholders so you can have an idea of how you can um, change the the project further. Okay, so let's start with the basic, and we go to the uh, to the background, which is a wood uh, floor, which you can right click to replace the footage by your own texture, and or you can just open this composition if you want to keep the texture, and if you select this layer and go to the effects control panel you can colorize it to any color that you wish and you can give it a bit more of saturation this is an effect that is um, applied the UN saturation um, so you can play around with it or you can add any other effects uh, so as you can see once you change it will change for the whole um, template I'm gonna undo and reverse it to the standard and we can close this so as I said you can replace this texture by your own texture uh, just bring it in and replace this one so we can close and move on let's start with the medias and then we go for the text I know we have a text uh, as an intro and we also have uh, an outro but uh, we will start by the medias and then move along uh, for the text and we will cover the intro and outro so regarding the photos we have six photos on each uh, each scene and of course you can um, you can add more or you can delete any of the photos that uh, you don't want to use but first of all let's start by replacing these and let's go to the pictures folder so inside medias photos and then pictures I'm gonna click on uh, number one right click replace footage file and I'm gonna use the ones that I used on the preview and I'm gonna select number one and number two replace footage file so this is a repeating process. We're not going to do this for all the pictures. Um, it would be very boring for you uh, watching me replacing the whole project here. So just right click, replace footage file and then select your file. Replace footage file and there we go. We have replaced the first uh, photos. And as you can see the photos are in um, uh, high resolution so they look very big and we will take care of that in a moment so we close this folder and now we can open the comps folder and I'm gonna click on photo 1 until photo 6 with my shift holding down and double click so I'm gonna open I'm gonna close this uh, I'm gonna open the all six pictures and I'm gonna select the picture number one press S for scale and I'm gonna scale my photo until I'm happy with it same for number two S for scale and bring it down 
this probably will happen to you as well because usually the pictures are um, in higher resolutions you can play around with the picture and put it uh, in the position that you want as for scale there we go as for scale so it's just a repeating uh, process as I said and here we go so we have six photos now that we can close and as you can see we have our first uh, scene almost ready uh, regarding all the photos uh, for the other scenes the process will be exactly the same just a matter of replacing footage and, and then adjusting it so now let's go to the videos which is this folder over here inside the medias as well and let's select uh, the placeholder number one which is this one and I'm going to right click replace footage file and I have my videos in a separate folder so number one okay this one will fit perfectly but let's uh, go to number two replace footage file okay this one is with a higher resolution uh, and we will adjust it as we did with the photos so for video number one uh, if we go inside we will see that um, it fits perfectly but for video number two you'll see that the video is much higher resolution that is uh, 180p and the placeholder is for 720p uh, so in this case we can put the, the larger full HD videos in size and resize it uh, if it's a 720p we will uh, just leave it as it is if it's smaller than that um, you might have to stretch it a little bit and probably probably will lose some uh, quality so you can use the same um, uh, strategy or technique that we used in the photos with the s but for videos um, because in photos we have uh, many uh, resolutions and some of them are three by two or four by three um, and others uh, three point uh, three by two point something four by three point something so i prefer to use the scale for photos but in videos usually usually uh, when we're talking about hd um, their aspect ratio will be all the same so what i prefer to do is right click and then uh, transform and fit to comp okay and this will be exactly uh, resized to the placeholder so one of the techniques but as i said you can use uh, the scale so undo and we go back to our scene and as you can see now um, we have the video perfectly fitting one other thing that i would like to mention is for instance my video is um, longer than 12 seconds each scene has 12 seconds uh, so if I want to use a different part of my video let's say something that is forward I will have to bring this layer and put it here and let's say I would want to use this part here as a start and then like this so you will have to play around with um, your video if it's too long uh, just dragging the layer backwards or forwards uh, to fit exactly what you want to show in the main composition okay. so as you can see now it's a bit different from the preview just because I moved the, the video around and I can leave it like this okay so regarding the videos the process will be the same uh, just a matter of um, replacing the footage and then um, adjusting and of course adjusting the timing and we can move on to okay before we go to the texts there's a folder here named video mask and this video mask will soften um, 
the video inside of the tablet so if we don't want to use it we just have to double click and then disable it and if we go to our composition you will see now or our main project we will see now that uh, there is no softening on the edges so uh, it looks that the light is not affecting uh, this of course it's um, it's up to you to use it or not but uh, it looks a bit more realistic and you can of course adjust the mask um, to make it more darker or lighter and this is I was just touching the, the feather but you have uh, a lot of options so as you can see it's now a little bit more darker I'm gonna undo it's a bit more lighter um, so it's just an option you can disable it uh, once you disable it here it will be disabled for all the videos or once you change here it will be changed for all the, the videos inside the, the, the project okay so we can close this and we go to the texts so the first text that we will find is um, the intro text the, the intro message uh, by the way all the fonts are inside the project folder well not the fonts but a link so you can download them and use the same fonts that I used on the preview uh, or you can use your own um, choice of, uh, of fonts uh, but as I was saying the first text will be this one here uh, which to customize it we go to the text and then scene 00, zero which will be the, the first scene just have to double click and you will see here uh, our title just have to double click and my new title whoops here so there we go and then if we move with that time nine needle uh, double click and my new subtitle it's not very original but for the customization purposes um, my new subtitle here okay. I was saying that is not very original but for the customization uh, purposes is okay uh, let me just add the line here or I would uh, center the, the text more but I'm gonna put it as I did on a preview and my second line so now we have a more centered project or more centered title so if we go to our main project we'll see now that uh, we have our new title our new subtitle and then we go if you want to change well you will want to change of course um, the last one which is the outro text which appears at the end uh, just need to open the scene 11 and double click and my last message and if you go to our project that it is after the last scene it appears my last message and then fades out and then it finishes um, <coughs> one of the options <coughs> sorry one of the options that um, you might want to consider and before I go for the rest of the text I will explain this now uh, if you want to use the project without these um, without this intro text and the last message text you have two options one of them just delete uh, in the main composition and then drag all the layers around um, which we're not going to do here to, to waste time or you can go to the precomps and go to the scenes folder select the first one hold shift select the last one bring them to create a new composition and where it says sequence layer selected overlap selected and then the duration choose well this is freely you can use any duration but um, to look as the original the, the preview that I made use two seconds and dissolve front layer so if you do this uh, if you do this sorry 
and press OK. You will get a new scene now called Scene 12. I'm going to rename it to HTTV. Dot, and I'm going to move it out of here so it will appear at the top just below our original one. And in our ori uh, sorry, in our new composition tut, we will have no intro and no uh, outro text. So this is a choice, and depending on what you want to uh, do with the text. Okay. Another thing is if you want to render the videos with sound. In my case, the, my videos have sound, and you will see this audio. Um, layer here. In the preview I decided not to render with sound because I wanted to use a um, audio track as a background but um, it's another option. If you want to render with audio just leave these uh, and we only have two because we only replaced two videos. You will see this here and also in the main composition. Uh, and as I was saying, if you want to turn the audio off, just disable this too and there will be no audio from the videos. If you want to keep the audio, just leave it as it is. Okay. Um, and one more tip uh, regarding the scenes. There's always the option to... Uh, I'm going to create a new composition. And... <coughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna use 30 seconds it's okay okay and with the scene selected I can use let's say scene number two and now I'm gonna do it manually so in 10 seconds I'm gonna use scene number six and drag to the 10 seconds now go to the 20 seconds and let's select scene number nine. So imagine that I only wanted to use nine scenes and I would need to I would need to create let me rename this to HTTV dot custom so we have the project organized. Um, in this case I would need to increase the timing to maybe 45 okay now it's a bit too much but I'm gonna cut it and trim to work area so we have now only three scenes uh, working so this will really depend on you um, just create a new composition and bring the scenes after uh, they are customized uh, so you can get a different order a different um, mood so you can get it more personalized okay just another tip let's move on with the text so we have changed the intro and outro text and now we are going to change the text that are uh, present inside the scenes so I'm gonna close these and I'm gonna leave only the text so the first text that we will see paper one will be um, inside the scene one, paper two, scene two, and so on and so forth. So let's change the paper one, double click on it, you will get this um, paper which you can replace. Let me just uh, new solid and make comp size, let's say I'm going to leave it white. Yeah, I'm going to leave it white. Um, press OK. So let's imagine that you don't want to use the paper with the, um, with the lines. Just creating a solid, you can bring any other texture. And you will now have a plain uh, sheet of paper. So, as I say, it's another option, just an idea. I'm going to delete it and create it this fast um, just by creating a solid but um, you have several options like bringing text shows in 
so now we are back with our original and just double click on the text that you want to change new title zero one and double click my new sub title is zero one okay so once you change the text and go to your main comp you will see now that you have um, the text and the sub well the title and the subtitle changed of course once again fonts are uh, your choice to use the ones that um, I used on the preview or any other font that you have available on your uh, computer so also you can change um, the colors let's say you wanted a finish and once you change it you will have it on your main comp the same applies to this one I used all black but uh, you can play around with colors and match max and you know depending on the theme my idea was to create for each scene uh, one theme in this case was a day that we went to a picnic or I don't know if you use that word in English uh, barbecue, outdoors, family day, you know, uh, and then I used another one that uh, we were the three at the beach, and I used one theme that we went for a ride uh, at the beach. So I played around a bit with the colors regarding uh, the theme that I had on each scene. So you might uh, want to play around with those. I'm gonna undo, don't really like green and red um, and this is it regarding the text it's just a matter of um, opening each one of them and replacing uh, font text colors text and and that's it that's it so regarding the basic customization I think I didn't forgot anything um, yeah okay so let's go a little bit further now um, one of the options that you might want to consider is to rearrange uh, your scene so let's say well I don't really like how Roberto put it on the scene so I want this tablet a bit more to the left or to the right sorry to the left or to the right um, I want this photo here and this photo there and well so on so let's go instead of opening the pre comp scenes and going through the scene i'm going to on my main comp i'm going to select scene number one and double click on it which is going to open my scene and in here we can play around with all the objects that we have so tablet number one let's play with rotation for example i can put it uh, in any position uh, I can bring it over here uh, over there send him to don't know. so this will be uh, up to you let's say I want to put here and now I would want uh, my paper to rotate this way so R for rotation and bring it here okay so uh, photo number six would come here and number five bring it here and number four would stay there number three would okay so I don't really like how the scene looks but just to give you um, oh and press R for rotation on this one and let's put it this way okay so as I was saying I don't really like the scene as it is now but um, as you can see you can rearrange everything um, on each of your scenes so if we go to our project now we will have our scene uh, totally different from what it was uh, in the beginning um, so you might 
want to do that. And as you saw, it's easy as this. Um, another option is the, I'm going to press U to show me the uh, keyframes for the camera controller. And you can, let's say that you don't want to finish with this look. You want to finish with uh, another look, something like this and move it longer or wider so your scene starts like this and finishes like this okay once again i didn't like much of this movement but you can play around uh, with your let's put it there you can play around with it so in this case moves backward and far away uh, we could put some more objects in the scene uh, I'm gonna put it a bit more okay um, so you can play around with this um, another option would be of course another option would be to increase the number of uh, photos and okay we have some space available here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna say I'm gonna put it Z so it stays last and photos dot and I'm gonna bring one two three three photos okay so I'm gonna use these three photos that we not we didn't use uh, to replace any of them I'm gonna use these three photos to create new placeholders here and to do that I'm going to the medias and photos and comps and what I'm going to do is uh, duplicate control D or command D if you're on a Mac one two three so I have photo number 61 62 and 63 hold shift double click opening them and with my three new photos what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete this placeholder this one and this one and I'm gonna bring photo 25 here okay and 26 which should be 62 and 63 this is just an example so okay so I'm happy with them now <coughs> we can close this one and what I'm going to do is on photo number six, which is on this position here, it doesn't matter which one I choose. I'm going to choose this one here, which is near to this area. I'm going to control D to duplicate. And so I have two number two photos and I'm going to bring photo number 61 holding halt and drop it on top. And there we go, we have a new photo over here. I'm gonna play around with rotation, okay. And with number 61 still selected, Control D, and I'm gonna bring 62, holding Alt. So we have another, another photo, and I'm gonna do the same, Control D, repeat it, and number 63, there we go. And over here, play around with rotation, maybe. Whoops, not this one. Wrong rotation. And so we have three more uh, photos on the scene with a total of nine photos. Uh, instead, you can do the same with the tablet as well. Having more than one tablet for each scene, just um, bring the tablet in. We will have to create. Um, Inside the pre-comps, we'll have to create, sorry, a 2D, a 2D scene and then create a 3D, not scene, sorry, tablet. 2D tablet and then a 2D, a 3D tablet. And so you can drop it on top and play around like we did with the photos, just the same process. Um, play around with it and uh, there you go. Uh, so, ah, one more thing that you might want to consider is we just had photos, but you can remove photos and remove them very easily, just disable them. 
once you disable it you will have uh, your clean scene <laughs> so then you can um, add just one or two or three doesn't matter so just a matter of uh, disabling them I'm gonna enable them all okay and I think this is it for this tutorial let's just check if we covered everything I'm gonna close the scene which I don't like it as it is but it doesn't matter uh, so we started with the background and all the medias photos and videos adjust uh, replacing and adjusting and then we went to the video mask we talked a little bit about that texts we saw how to customize intro, outro text, and all the text available on the scenes. You can do, didn't mention, but you can um, you can add more text to each scene, like we did with the photos. So, and then we have um, we have talked about a new um, a new set of scenes without the without the intro and outro text and we also saw how to create a new project well not a new project but a more customized project uh, changing the order of the scenes and later on we saw how to change the all the objects and uh, the positioning their rotation and we also saw how to change the, the camera controller and adding more elements or removing elements and this is it basic and a little bit more uh, advanced customization so we will stay uh, here we're already with 32 minutes guys I hope you enjoy guys and girls <laughs> I hope you enjoy the template um, I hope I could help with this um, small video tutorial if you have any further questions please don't hesitate drop me a line i will do my best and the fastest i can to um, help you with any problem that you find any bug any situation any question that you can't seem to resolve yourself please drop me a line i will um, answer you probably with uh, a video answer <laughs> usually that's what i do uh, instead of writing i will show um, in the video which is much easier for me to explain and much easier for you to understand uh, where we can change or what are you doing wrong or whatever uh, so once again guys I hope you enjoy it hope to hear from you uh, any comments any feedback that you have um, and the rating of course of the project I really appreciate that and that's it okay once again my name is Roberto George and thanks for watching guys and girls.